You can get water from a creek bed uh, or you can get it from a rock hole. In the hot summer's day, you don't walk out in the middle of the day looking for water. That's the worst thing you can do, you'll die quick. You just lay down, you dig a hole and you just lay around and cover yourself with sand and just wait there until this time or a bit later, the birds or the sheep, you know, anything like that, they'll all just drink late in the evening, but this time or a bit later and early in the morning. So you watch and you watch out for the animals and you follow the animals where they're going. What the old people used to do sometimes to trap an animal, they'd let it sometimes get a drink of water, but if the water was really scarce, they'd cover it with stone like that's crack. They'd cover it and the animal would lay around and then he'd get weak because he want to get the water, he could smell the water, but he can't get at it. And the best way to do that is you look for the flies or the bees, you know, the English bee or the native bee, because they could have water too. An animal is exactly like a human. They might be a bit smaller, but we all like water, so. And that's why, you know, sometimes we see an animal, we will kill it to eat, but not to kill it just for fun, because that little animal that you uh, sort of spare, it could save your life one day, somewhere along the line, you know. This hole in the rock here, it was either made by a man or a woman, just to, uh, picked around, uh, got a hollow in it, and it's picked around. This is a sign to tell you that there's a water hole around here and save you wandering around all over the countryside. You look for signs, and you find something like this, and the, this is indicating that near that pine tree there, that cypress pine tree, just down there, there's a big crack in the rock, and it fills up with water. And it should have a bit in because for the last few days, a uh, couple of days it was raining. As you can see, there are little pools around, so we'll go there and have a, have a look and there should be some water in it. I'll get some leaves now and put in the cooling and get the water there. So if I get some of these and place them in like that. And that's in there now and see, it'll see how it stop sort of it's not splashing out as quick as it would any other way, see? That there, see? And that's how you can carry it, like that. Well, some, some will splash out, but we can't make miracles with a piece of bark and some bushes, eh? Where if you pull the leaves out, right, and do that, see? If you put the leaf back in and do that, see? So a piece of bark off the tree, it does wonders. You can carry water, you can carry it like that. The woman will put little small newborn you know, babies in it and carry them. Food, seed, anything. So that's how the coolerman work. Even today, like, you see trucks, they carry petrol. They'll carry water inside those big round tanks. It's not just all a big olive tank, they got things going across and like that. And that stops the movement of the water so the truck won't tip over. If they didn't have them things, the truck would tip over. So it's the same thing how they work with the cooler when it stops the water from going out.